Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mortillon. I thought I'd come and deliver a little message. I hope you're having a good day. I wanted to talk about this great event that uh, everybody's been talking about, this great event, this great solar flash. And it's going to be happening. It's going to be more spectacular than anything we've, we've ever dreamed of. Right? When the galactic comes, the ships will be so magnificent beyond anything that the science fiction has been able to reveal. But this great event is depending on, on critical mass. It's depending on the 8 billion people that are going on. And God is the controller. God knows what's going on in the mind of all people at all time. So when the critical mass will be reached, it will be a natural event. It will be absolutely unstoppable. So it's been building up for decades now and it's, it's moving closer. The Galactic have been announcing it as very, very immediate <clears throat> because from their, their standpoint, the fifth and sixth dimension, they have a much more clear vision about the past and the future. So they see things coming in the eternal now. They see what's coming. And so, but for us, we, we, we still have to build our face. And, and even on our personal life, it is all about critical mass. What is your soul is asking of you to transform the reality? For, for it's like we've created this reality that we're experiencing now, so mostly unconsciously. Now we want to create consciously, but we, we need to comply with enough, we need to transform enough within our mind and consciousness and energy to change the reality outside and to hold it with constant, constancy. So, so it is important when the solar flash will come, there will be two very specific timelines, those who follow the light and those who do not want it. But um, that will be choice, choice from the soul perspective. It depends on their level of soul evolution. The dark, the dark side have always known about the ascension process and, they, and they've been putting all their resources into preventing it in order to hold the power a little bit longer. But this, 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 some of them they still believe they're going to win, but it's absolutely, they're completely fooling themselves. And so... For there is no chance that, 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 because the creator has said stop that's enough and, and many people have said that's enough so so it's um and some even on the dark side there are some that are awakening and that they're contributing to the critical mass so so we'll see what happens huh? but focus on yourself focus on of course what do whatever you can to assist the world but uh, but focus on your own well-being because the best way to increase the critical mass of humanity is to focus on your peace of mind on your joy on your creativity on your sense of connection because that raises your frequency and it raises the collective frequency and the illusion is not real. The illusion, by definition, the illusion, the illusion is not real. So the idea is that uh, all illusion will fall. And the illusion is the separation that we may be separated from anything or anyone. Although time and space are separated in, in essence. But um, but within the consciousness, there can be a connection through the heart within the now. And so understand also we're never alone. We can call on the galactics. We can call on your higher intelligence, call on your guides, your angels, the archangels, the ascended masters. All those beings will always uh, go, go between you and the creator in order to reinforce your own inner connection. They will not try to control or, or dictate what you need to do. They will, they will guide you in the alignment to increase your own spiritual light. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. For this, this ascension of uh, our own ascension and the ascension of the planet will generate an ascension of the solar system and the galaxy. We need to ascend the whole galaxy. It's a huge place. There are billions, hundreds of billions of planets and stars. and It's, it's an amazing place. But uh, for now, we, we just need to focus on our own ascension, and, and which is connected to the, the planetary ascension. I'm going to pull a card to see what, uh, what may be coming for the day. I thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I thank you for your donations. Very soon, I'm going to open the champagne. It's going to be, feel really good to, to, be, to feel this freedom, financial freedom. <laughs> um, the, the card of the day is the wind of change. Oh, no, it's the, the crossroads. I'm sorry, it's the crossroads. So sometimes we have to make a decision. We need to go right or left. So, so it's like it's going to be the, this separation of timeline. So just be heart center. Follow whatever direction. If you if, if you go to the wrong, if your mind led you to the wrong direction, your heart tells you it's the wrong direction, and you can redirect. On it. So just um, just trust trust in that. And um, so I'm going to finish with a song and I'm going to pull out a few oracles from the angels to leave them the last words. I had this song this morning that went through my mind. It's from the Red Hot Chili Paper. It's called Californication. But I, I didn't think it was appropriate. So they sent me another song. They inspired me to sing another song in this video. It's an old song about somebody who's like in a relationship is said too much it's something has been said that i've broken the bond and so it's like it's going through that so it's called losing my religion from rem goes like this oh life is bigger it's 
bigger than you and you are not me the lengths that i would go through the distance in your eyes oh no i said too much i set it up that's me in the corner that's me in the spot light losing my religion trying to keep up with you and i don't know if i can do it oh no i said too much i haven't said enough i saw that i heard you laughing i saw that i heard you sing i think i thought i saw you try Every whisper, every walking hour, I'm choosing my confession, trying to keep an eye on you, like a hurt, lost and blinded fool, fool. Oh no, I've said too much, I said it up. Consider this, consider this, the hint of the century consider this the slip that brought me to my knees flared what if all this fantasy come falling down and now i've said too much i saw that i heard you laughing i saw that i heard you sing i think i thought i saw you try but that was just a dream that was just a dream just a dream that's me in the corner that's me in the spot light losing my religion trying to keep up with you and i don't know if i can do it oh no i've said too much i haven't said enough but that was just a dream try cry try fly that was just a dream just a dream just a dream dream a great song reminds me of this was in 1991 it reminds me of a, i was living in coconut grove at the time in, in florida looking forward to returning to florida i know the united states are going to be a major uh, aspect of my project in my project so the, the observer of the day the angel observer is righteousness it's about righteousness the highest wisdom is indulgence so there's still indulgence that are going on so it's like not to be too uh, too severe but not to be too indulgent you need to sort of some discipline so go by little steps little step at the time what needs to be understood is joy if you're indulgent but your indulgence bring you joy then go for it it's just like there is no uh, let go of the outside judgment of others and follow your own sense of peace what we need to do is liberation to find to connect to the feeling of liberated energy to find the salvation and the outcome will be the dreams the dreams that will be uh, the dreams are very important i'm having wonderful dreams very and uh, but but waking dreams we we all came in with a dream and we a vision and we need to uh, whatever that is it's like we, we need to inform the universe we are ready to receive so start putting your plans and put making plans if you if you can act just act for act upon it but uh, right now if you if you don't have all the means and the connection or whatever just ask for the connection the the resources the the, the opportunities to make those dreams come true for it is all a line up there well, thank you very much. May God be blessed and uh, may you be blessed by God for, for the Creator. It's like he, we, we can worship Him. We can adore, adore and worship the Creator just for who He is. He's the only one we should worship and adore. Or we can adore life, but we can worship only God, the source and Creator. But also for all that is preparing for us with a higher self. God is working in bringing this world into completion and the great freedom and joy and abundance that will come with with that process huh? so just stay positive and breathe be serene be at peace to raise your frequency thank you very much namaste